Hey, Randomosity here, and today we're going to be showing you how to etch metal using electricity and salt water. I'm going to call it electro etching. Hope you enjoy. Today we're going to be showing you how to etch using electrical current and salt water. I have my cousin here with me and he's going to be putting a shape on his knife there which he already has cut the design in the tape and he will tell you what that's. Okay so this is the Greek letter L, Greek letter for L, lambda I believe it's pronounced as. The Spartans put it on their shields uh, to signify their homeland, basically initial. That's what I'm putting on my knife. What are you putting on your knife, Joe? Well, I think I'm going to be using a vine <coughs> design here. It sounds very nice. So I will start off by drawing. I've put the tape on here, and I'm going to just draw the design in. We'll probably speed up through this. Okay, and I have already got a design put on this can. I'm going to try to practice because it's the first time I've ever done this. Do I put it on the negative or positive? Negative so this to the Q-tip and positive to the can. Okay, so I've got it right, do I? I yes. Remember. Yes, good. Where is it? <laughs> Feel the current. Yeah. I wonder if the mic's picking up a syllable. Cause boy, is that it's, it's, it's like someone's frying bacon or something. Yeah, it's possible. Now you can probably see as he's doing that that um, q-tip is starting to turn kind of a grayish color that's the <laughs> man that smells <laughs> that's the uh, metal being sucked up into the q-tip as you can see here we have the positive side hooked to the can and the power is running from the positive to the negative which the negative is on the q-tip thus making the metal that is being etched by the salt hold into the Q-tip. So I'm just cutting the outline to my vine here. You want putting roses on that? Um, not this time. So. Okay. I'm just doing a little symbol here. Practicing. Cool. Yeah, I'm just going for like a... Look at that. <laughs> Fairly dirty. I don't know what kind of vine this is. It kind of looks kind of... Basically just a generic vine then? Yeah, just a few little sprigs off of it. Almost, the sprigs mm -hmm. off the side almost look cactusy maybe. No. Yeah. So. You know, it's, it looks pretty cool though. You'll see how it turns out. You want to be careful when you're cutting it. Um, you want to cut yourself. <laughs> yeah, definitely. <laughs> that would be lame. But yeah, um, that and what? You definitely want to um, be careful not to disturb the tape around where you're cutting out your design because that you want that to stick solid so it doesn't let any of the salt water under or else it's going to etch wherever it touches the metal. So that's the that's why you want it to be cut. I'm really etching this as far as possible. See how it looks after I'm done. Alright, I think I'm done. I think I'm done. Probably not gonna etch it this far on my knife. But anyway, do we have any I'll just wipe it off here. Okay. 
Oh, by the way, you should probably not use duct tape. I tried doing that, it was a complete fail. This is the way it's it, duct tape to woven, so it will kind of not work properly. Not kind of, it won't work properly. You won't be able to cut through it very well. But yeah, it's a nice little etch. I like that. Nice deep. Excuse me. <coughs> when you're <coughs> pulling your design off, you want to do it really carefully so it doesn't disturb the uh, all the tape. Yes. Right here, it started to pull off part of the tape that I'm leaving. I'm gonna have to make sure I get that fully cut here with the knife. You can see, you just pull that right through. It's quite nice. Special right over there again. And, um, I don't know, I, when I think of this vine, to me, it's just kind of, kind of a symbol of life, kind of to me. I mean, mm -hmm. how's that? Just, I don't know, just how it grows and always yeah. branching off into different areas or yeah just moving forward yeah never ending that's cool so that's just kind of my thought yeah that, that's that's gonna be really nice yeah I um, so I got my design cut out here now <coughs> <coughs> excuse me and as you can see I don't I don't think I ran over the stuff we're using here we're we're using a Zacto knife and a pen. Uh, Don't use this. Yeah. Use this. Electrical tape. Electrical tape. The pen right on the electrical tape, if you can see it. The Zacto knife to obviously cut it out. And these as um, water holder slash conductor. Yes. And we're going to use, re always remember, put the positive to the piece of metal that you're working with and the negative to your q-tip right here because the flat the power flows from positive to negative so you want to remember that <coughs> now you can use a, a 9 volt battery for this i'm i'm using a 12 volt power supply a variable power supply but a 9 volt battery will work great. Maybe a little slower, but as you can see, I've barely, I barely touched this one and it's just like taking the etching just amazingly. Man. So what kind of metal is that? This is, <laughs> whoa, powerful stuff. Whoa, here. man. Uh, this is high carbon steel. <coughs> oh, yeah. I think. That's a good knife. <clears throat> yeah, and I think that's one of the reasons it's um, taking, taking on the etch so fast. Probably, probably. I don't know very much about metal and stuff. I'd like to learn them. It'd be pretty cool. Now, this is about worn out there. I mean, when it gets full up like that, it starts not working as good. Yeah, we got quite a few of those over here. <clears throat> yeah, I definitely don't recommend breathing this stuff if at all possible it's kind of well intrusive good word <laughs> kind of tastes spicy you can season your food with oh yeah tastes like metal so Do you now like um, my cousin's gonna <coughs> put his design yeah. on his knife here well we'll see how this turns out Mine's rather small. I'm wondering if you'll even see it in the zoom in. But we'll see how it goes. That is amazing. Oh, that man. is sweet, man. That's quite good. We're also going to see how it works on a blued knife. You want to show the camera? This is um, the finished edge. And as you can see on his knife, we'll give you a close up pictures. Yeah. His knife has um, bluing on it, so it's bit, which bluing is um, a controlled rust that's gone through. 
And so we're going to see how good that does through that. Um, we'll see that here in a second. Hope the noise is not too bad with the refrigerator. It's yeah, just chilling I, back there. I would say that <laughs> I'd say that the whoa the bling makes it hotter and smell worse. Uh, so yeah, if you're gonna do this on a gun barrel or a military knife like I am, might want to put a gas mask on or something. I don't know. Probably, probably a good idea not to be doing it in an enclosed area like we are. Yeah, we're freaking idiots. Yeah. Alright, I think I'm I'm, I'm, I'm left speechless here, man. Yeah. Whoa. <laughs> oh, there we go. By the way, we're doing this all in one cut, one take, so that's gonna be very interesting. Let's see if I can clean this yeah. up. Did it get deep enough? I, I hope so. so. Get a shard of paper. <laughs> yeah. Oh my goodness, that did edge it. I don't know if it's quite deep enough, but yeah, you can actually see that. Yeah, I did. Could have been etched a little bit deeper, but I'm probably okay with that. So we'll, we'll see. Right here, as you can see, he etched it right here. <coughs> the, the longer you hold your um, Q-tip to it, the deeper it's going to etch. So depending on what you have, like this is a very... Uh, very porous metal here with the bluing on it. And for that, you'd want to let it etch longer. Oh, so, that rust that came off of that. Yeah. Anyway, so, we're gonna we're gonna do something. Yeah, we're doing something. Get back to you. Yeah. I got a few questions I want to ask, and I'm sure people at home probably. Want to ask also? Also, how the how the how? Also, um, so what about different types of metal? Like, well, I would say pretty much any metal you can etch. As far as I know, I mean, right here this evening we've we've tried a couple different types. Um, right here we have a high carbon steel <clears throat> that did fine. <coughs> um, we have a can here, and this is just tin, and that edged beautifully. Um, we have a stainless steel knife here, and we were able to get a really solid etch on that. Um, we have this knife that has been... It's also high carbon, but it's got blued. Yeah, um, and what you're saying with it about it being blued, that is... Um, controlled rusting, basically. It gives it a finish that doesn't allow it to rust anymore, basically. Um, so, I would say, I would say pretty much any steel. Any steel or any metal? Any, any metal. Okay. Yes. All right, how about salt to water ratio, like the solution? Well, what I used here is I put about two tablespoons in. Mm -hmm. And that seemed to work just fine. Okay. Um, I I kind of mixed it around and got it to dissolve in the solution. Uh, using a little bit more, no no problem. And you don't need much water. To do this, you know, it's, it's only okay. half a cup to a cup. Uh, yeah. All right. All right. Just as long as it basically is a, as much as possible. Just as long as it dissolves, right? Yes. Okay. That's what I'd say. All right, so how long should I hold it on there to get a clean edge? There's or any edge, basically. There's no cut and dried time for how long you should hold it on to get an edge. Um, it depends on how deep you want the edge to be, and you can kind of see that as you're doing it. Okay. Um, you know, if it's all covered in water and the, and the rust molecules, you just dab it off with a rag, and you can kind of see the depth. If you're wanting a surface edge, you know, like like I did here, this is not very deep. You know, you just did it for a little bit and you'll see it. Um, like with his knife here, he did it quite a bit deeper. You want a more defined edge. You let it sit longer. I think that took like three to four minutes. Yeah, it took quite a while. So, 
<laughs> that's kind of how you go about that. Okay. So now that that's, what about layering? Like, can you layer? Um, I think you technically could. Okay. Um, I haven't tried it. You know, I've, I've done a, I etched this picture of this cabin in here mm -hmm. and I don't have any layers, but I think you could technically go over this if you wanted to add something, some shape or design over it. So like retape it in a different way so that the logs like pop out or something that. Yes, I'd, I'd say that would work fine. Um, you know, if you're gonna try that, you'd wanna probably, since this is light etch on here, mm -hmm. you probably wanna etch it deeper to give it a define to realize what, what the layer is there. Um, I mean, so that'd go quite in depth though. And yes. Could be quite difficult. Yeah, it would take it would definitely take more time. So you can you can basically do anything with this etching, <coughs> and um, if you've liked this video, uh, leave a comment, subscribe, hit the thumbs up, and um, you know, have fun. Go out, yeah, do this, and and uh, till next time, go check out my channel, see the rest of my videos, and keep rolling with the random.